couple of days ago, I asked a question on my Instagram. How many books did you read last month? A few of them answered 17 books, 11 books, 8 books, 7 books. And yes, there were a few who were going through a reading slump and read no books at all. But I personally read 5 books last month. And in this video, I am discussing what are the books that I read. These are my mini reviews for all of these books. I read 2 thrillers, 2 non-fiction books and one fantasy book so without further ado let's get started but before that hi there i am anpreet i make books related videos on this channel if you're new here please make sure you subscribe follow me on my social media and turn your notifications on so that you get notified every time i post a new video i plan to bring up a lot of new videos this month so please 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 make sure you subscribe and now what are the books that I read last month in the order of how I read them? Number one book that I read was something I read in ebook format. I love my Kindle Paperwhite. If you want to purchase it, uh, the link is down below in the description, affiliate link. But yeah, I read Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. Now, Paula Hawkins is the best selling author of The Girl on the Train. I have read that book. That is an amazing psychological thriller. But this one, however, was disappointing. It was not even a psychological thriller. So the story is about, you know, this woman who dies. And a lot of people think she committed suicide. But a lot of people think that is not true. When it comes to two main people related to this woman, uh, she has a daughter and she has a sister who hates her. And, you know, that's how the story progresses. There are themes of suicide and murder and all of that. I would not recommend this book anyhow, even if I had loved it to somebody below the age of 18. So keep that in mind. But, uh, you know, just discussing about uh, the book, I loved The Girl on the Train. It was such an amazing plot, so mind-boggling. But this one was just plain and simple. Even though the concept and the setting of this book was something I loved. I loved, like, you know... Uh, so into the water obviously it's around water there's a big river and that plays a big role that's a big character in the book but somehow I did not enjoy this book at all I would give it three out of five stars would ask you to just skip it if you do not want to specifically read this book you know if you are just looking for a thriller look for some other one not this one this is what I feel Coming to the number two book that I read last month, and that was a non-fiction, Attitude is Everything by Jeff Keller. This is a book on motivation, and it's a very short, simply written, 125-page book that I absolutely loved. I have a full discussion, as in what are the points that were discussed in this book, and what I liked and disliked about this book. I have the whole video up already. I'll put it up in the i button or down below in the description, so do check it out. But anyhow, I feel like... This is a really good book which you can read if you are looking for some motivational read this year. It's short, it's not even that expensive and you know also it is something that can be easily read and the concepts are something that are good as well. I did not like that. There are there are few stories in the book you know i feel like when it comes to self-help books and you know when somebody is teaching you something like this they should get in a lot of examples you know just a lot of stories that actually help the book get better this book did not have many of those it did have a few but overall i really loved this book gave it four out of five stars so i would highly recommend it to you if you're looking for a self-help book a motivational book Number three book that I read last month was One Arranged Murder by Chetan Bhagat. Now, I did not like this book at all. This book takes up uh, the characters from the last thriller Chetan Bhagat wrote. That was The Girl in Room 105, Keshav and Saurabh. And this time, Saurabh's fiancé is dead. Who committed the murder? Who is responsible? That is what the book is about. And it was not at all good. The characters were really shallow. And there was a lot of fat shaming in the book. Which I, I know if I don't mention it, you guys would ask anyhow. I will have a full review of this. But yes, I feel like there's a line, you know. Uh, fat shaming as a part of the book. That is something I would read. But fat shaming just to make it feel disgusting. Fat shaming... Uh, done in this disgusting manner and you know done it like that I just hated it uh, but I sort of also ignored it for the most part of the book because you know why dwell over it that I hated it and it has been done disgustingly but anyhow 
plot was not at all that good i mean i feel like i had expected a lot because you know after a while chetan bhagat has been writing since a long time so i had expected a solid plot at least or some sort of like good writing but there has been no improvement i read a non fiction by chetan bhagat last to last year i guess and i really liked it and i felt like you know you know maybe i have read a few of his books a long time ago and then i did not read a couple of his problematic books and then i read this one and i had expected something would get better but it got worse or i would say it is just how it is but i really did like two states three mistakes of my life i did like those books but this one 2.8 out of 5 stars would not ask you to read it there are so many thrillers out there even a newbie indian author a good newbie author would do a better job at this at least how the plot should have been not should have been or the ha- how the plot could have been or how the characters are like there's nothing in the book that is readable that should be read i feel that way so yes would not recommend this to you at all moving on the fourth book that i read last uh, month was the pcod thyroid book by rudita dilekar another non fiction a book on health and this is uh, a book on women's health and discusses a lot about uh, the pcod and then thyroid and what are the good foods and what is a good way to stay away from these disorders or even treat them so there's a lot of discussion on nutrition and even a little bit of out exercising and a lot of myths and you know a lot of things that women could learn from this book consequently i would highly recommend it to women out there you must must read this book as women even like in this book it is quite uh, well established that women do not really take care of themselves and we should start because a lot depends on us and we should be taking care of ourselves and respecting ourselves and i feel like for that you must be reading this book this is something that will teach you a lot i mean uh, these disorders i did not like who's going through it thankfully and gratefully and i hope it ha- it stays that way but i did want to read it to just know about it because these disorders and these health issues are creeping into the life of women and even young girls so much that you know we should be talking more about it so i would definitely recommend you to read this book and even if the women in your house do not like to read but you like to read i would say read this book and make sure you are telling them about everything you learn from this book that would be a huge favor and you know Uh, a very good thing you will do for the women you love and respect so ultimately i gave this book 5 out of 5 stars could not find anything that was not that good or for which i should cut out my ratings and you know give it 4 or 4.5 it is just absolutely brilliant you must read it it's a book on health it is for you read it and lastly the book that i finished reading last month i feel like i messed up the order because i read sin bad before pcod thyroid book but that is how good read is showing me <laughs> anyhow um i read sin bad and the trumpet of israfel so kevin missel one of my favorite authors he has done really well with the series he has been writing and he writes a lot which i love so this is something that i read and i have also reviewed the book and i really liked it this is a fantasy novel and you know kevin missel has been writing from marily mythology fiction uh, this one combines uh, greek mythology other mythologies and it is a proper fantasy novel i really liked it but i did not like the world building at all in the book i feel like um, yeah you know maybe the author did not really focus on the world building but a fantasy book with bad world building is not a good book so there are a lot of elements that i liked in this book i did give it 3.8 out of 5 stars it's easy to read it's a fantasy by an indian author it's a good fantasy but the world building was not that good which i did not like at all because i personally feel that in a fantasy book world building has to be great not even good has to be great anyhow this also has like you know now i think i did not mention it in my review that i did a full review of the book but you know i discussed a lot about how this was not a good romance novel how the romance was not that good and none of you asked me <laughs> i'm thankful about that but why was i focusing so much because um, on the romance because you know there are fantasy novels out there which do not have any romance at all or which have a very small romance in it and there are you know fantasy lovers who just do not like romance in the book why was i focusing so much on this one it is because in the back cover and how the book has been promoted it says a lot about like this is a fantasy book this is a sindbad story but 
it is a romance story uh, you know on the base of it but it was not that good of a romance which is why i had to mention it multiple times so yeah apart from these two things that i did not like i really liked this book it was smooth and you know it is a really good book when you consider it's a book by an indian author and a fantasy by an indian author so yeah this is the fifth book that i read last month i did mess up the order of how i read it i shouldn't have mentioned it in the beginning of the video anyhow there are two more books that i have been reading uh, since last month and those are number one book is the mystery of the blue train i actually read 50 pages of this book last month really looking forward to completing this i if you don't know if you are new on the channel i like to review agatha christie books and um i have been reviewing you know reading all of them and the order of publishing the poirot mysteries and i have been reviewing them i do have separate reviews for all the books that i have read until now i will link the playlist down below in the description but yes really excited to read this one and lastly i read 20 pages of brand new start by meena ghar this is again a non fiction this is a non fiction book on personal branding i do plan to do full reviews of both of the books so i will be discussing more about this in those videos as well anyhow yes guys these are all the books that i read in january tell me what you read in january and what you liked the most and what you did not like because we are a community here it is not a one sided conversation it's not just me wanting to tell you what i read i also want to know what you read so comment down below in the description not in the description comment down below just <laughs> uh what book you read and yes thank you so much for watching this video in case you want to support the channel do consider buying from my affiliate links and also hit a thumbs up to this video because just that action which is all free you do not have to make any purchase just a thumbs up will actually help my video a lot and help me grow more okay and thank you so much for watching this video just the fact that you have watched it until now that is a huge support for this channel that does a lot for this channel so yes thank you this month we signing off i'll be back with another video very soon